New Orleans 26-24 winners over Philadelphia. Uh, these teams average a tremendous amount of points and yards combined, over 800 yards, and they certainly did not live up to that billing. But Drew Brees, as you guys uh, were basically indicating, had trouble getting the ball to Jimmy Graham. You guys stated previously, Marcus Colston, why? Why was it well, so because, hard? Well, because they, you know, defenses adjust in the playoffs. They double. I mean, they were doubling Jimmy Graham the entire game. Yes, yeah, Jimmy Graham, first so. of all, got got hurt <laughs> late in the year, and his numbers were not nearly as impressive as they were in the first half of the year. Yeah. And on the road, it's clearly harder. The, the Saints have a problem on the road. They're not, you know, they uh, no, they, but they won. They, no, they did. They, they, won. they won. It was a huge road win. Uh, but and their defense is good. They did. A, LaShawn McCoy, you know, he I think he had 77, 77. Yards, yards rushing. He only caught four passes. They took him yeah. out of the passing game. Uh, Rob Ryan did a great job. That was a really impressive defensive performance. And the mm -hmm. Saints defense is much better than it's been even in this whole er Saint era of yeah. greatness. This is the best defense uh, that they've had. Uh, and all, they always felt lucky to me, the Saints defense. Always. Well, you never think of them as a defensive team right. at all. Right. You know? Yeah, but I mean, they were at one, the year they won the Super Bowl, they ran like 112 interceptions back for touchdowns. Yeah. I mean, they got yeah, the turnovers true. were... It felt lucky. This feels like they got a, a, a plan. But the Eagles defense was, was pretty good, too. No, the Eagles' defense was good, but going back to the Saints, uh, <coughs> excuse me. One thing that I noticed was Keenan Lewis when he went out. I felt like that was going to shift the entire game. <coughs> excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, they put in Corey White, who's a rookie, and they, the Nick Foles and the Eagles, attacked him every single, not every single play, but they attacked him like crazy. And I really thought that would be the shift. That would be it. It was, it was a shift. It was a shift, but I thought it would be a big enough shift yeah. where the Eagles would then go on to win the game. Well, keep in game. mind, it was 20-7, to seven, and then the Eagles went ahead. So, I mean, it was a great shift. It's just that the Saints ran a great, great drive, relying when it was third and in inches on mm -hmm. what? Twice, the quarterback sneak, which yeah. never fails, ever, literally. And I, I, uh, I tweeted to you, my friend. Yeah, and yet it's like the, it's like the as then we saw in the games on Sunday, uh, or at least the first game on Sunday was like neither Mike McCoy nor Marvin Lewis saw that game. Yeah, You're like Philip Rivers six foot five, and just for the love of God, I know he's not really athletic, but he can take a snap and lean forward and get that much right. or that much. And have, so, a, yeah, have same, a fullback push him. <laughs> have a fullback push him, right? Just, just you'll get it. You'll get it. Did you guys think the injury to Pierre Thomas would be bigger than it was for the Saints? No. No, no, not at all. Not one bit. No, they just, Mark Ingram had a great game. Mark Ingram did. had a great game. He really probably played his best game ever. Yeah. Um, and Pierre Thomas has had good games and yeah. fair games. I mean, he's, right. he's not, it's not like Jamal Charles. You know, it's, uh, but I, I think the Corey White uh, coming in, listen, they always try and exploit. The, the Packers tried to do it to the 49ers with Carlos Rogers outgoing to Parrish Cox, who, who was a 49er then cut signed by the Seahawks re-signed five days ago by the Niners and started so I mean yeah, you know, interesting. so he uh, and, and he played, played well, well enough yeah he played well enough yeah. by the way I don't remember who the rookie was but at one point because of the injuries that the Packers they were decimated on defense they started a first round defense event at linebacker because they were so decimated with injuries yeah, at linebacker yeah, yeah, that outside attacker. linebacker. Yeah. He's a, but they, they drafted him as a defensive end. And by end. the way, that's part of the reason why I'm sure Colin Kaepernick had the ease for which he gained 100 yards. Yeah. I mean, you know, they were down th since the season started. So many linebackers. Yeah. Philadelphia, by the way, now 4-5 and five at home. Nick Foles, 8-3 and three as a starter. You indicated with LaShawn McCoy, 77 yards. They were held to 80 uh, total. So now, the I guess we could even transition into this. The Saints are going to Seattle. As we all know, they were crushed by Seattle at Seattle. Emotionally and physically. Emotionally yeah. and physically? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Seattle we would anticipate that they would be much better, obviously. Well, you'd anticipate that they'd be better, A, because they won a road playoff game already, which I think uh, has, uh, you know, as Ben has alluded to, it was something that they needed to get over the perception of. They sure, didn't sure. crush Philadelphia, but they won, and for them that's good. Also, they have a smart quarterback and a smart coaching staff. So you get blown away by a team like Seattle, uh, in Seattle, uh, it's... Well, they've you know, lost it, one it game in two NFL. years. I hate saying these things, the learning experience, but, but I mean, you do. You, you, the team realizes what they didn't do last time and they have to do this time. Mm -hmm. It's not like the Seattle Seahawks have gone to sleep on that either, so they're going to be preparing in different ways. So I think it's going to be a really tough task for them to win up there. Very quickly, very quickly. Chip Kelly with the Eagles. Successful first year. Yeah, I'd say so. Obviously. Yeah, I, I mean, we so. should not undermine that No, at he stumbled all. upon Nick Foles, too. Uh, but I think I think he proved that... Uh, stumbled he, upon it. But he drafted him, to, he, didn't he? 
Huh? He drafted Nick Foles? Did no. he? Not? He stumbled no, upon no. like he no, he didn't draft no, him. No. Nick Foles. He's a second year player, Nick Foles. Yeah, Nick Foles. Yeah. Oh, excuse yeah. me. Second year player. Yeah. Um, uh, so, so I'm just saying, don't undermine Chip Kelly. No, not, not, you, not his you team guys. was prepared every week. I mean, I, maybe they were blown out once. They also blew out another. Their defense team, yeah. got a lot better. So yeah, the defense got was a joke. And then much, much I mean, people better. covering the NFC East and in the in the in training camp were like consistently writing teams are going to score so many right. points on the Eagles this year yeah. they can't cover anybody. And Chip Kelly doesn't come in with this mindset of, here, I'm going to fix it. You know, right. he, well, they were also 0-4 uh, at one point, were they not? The Eagles were 0-4? No, no, no. They, were, they won their opener. They beat the Redskins 78-2 uh, oh, to two in the first half. So probably 1-3. Um, but they came back. And 4-5 <laughs> the, the and five at home, again, they, they had that weird home road split. But the fact is they were 3-5, and five, and then they went 7-1 and one the second half of the season. So I, that was more telling is the manner in which they finished the season. How people were surprised they were three and five. Even. I mean, yeah. like, you know, they, they, were, they won games that they shouldn't have won, but they were in game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought the guy did a great job coaching. Yeah, clearly, this he right. knows what he's doing. And uh, yeah, so I, I think that, uh, again, that said, Lincoln Financial Stadium or whatever the hell, where the, 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 the vet, yeah. um, <laughs> uh, does not have the same noise issue that Seattle does. And that screws up every road team. The Saints, who it seems... Not the Cardinals. Ha- didn't screw up the Cardinals. It didn't screw up the Cardinals, <laughs> yeah. And the Seahawks had a tendency to overlook some people. I mean, they clearly shrugged their shoulders when the Jaguars scared the Buccaneers came in. You know, yeah. they were like, nah, and then they were like, oh, they we're down. They were down 21 nothing, And yeah. then they came then back they and won, won it. Yeah. But, uh, and the Cardinals are good enough to sustain that. But the Seahawks were in a position where that win mattered, but they still, they basically had a game to give. They had a yeah. game in hand, and they let that one go. I, I don't... They're beatable. Could the Saints beat them? Of, mm-hmm. of course, it's possible. It's Drew Brees. It's the Saints. It's Sean Payton. Like if you were going to pick three teams to go in there and possibly win, even with the loss they had there, the, the, Bears, Saints, would, the Saints would be one of the teams I'd pick. I think that the Saints, uh, in a, the, the, what clearly t- seems to me, and I, this is just straight observation. I don't even know if it's true. But okay. the Saints who rely so much on being able to communicate at the line of scrimmage, Drew Brees does, with what he needs to do, and he can't do it there. I thought that's one reason why they look bad. That's a good so point. I think they're at a particular disadvantage there. Um, I, I, so I think the Saints are at a slightly bigger disadvantage than teams that are like power-running teams that don't. You know, I think the Niners have a better shot, and they looked horrible there. They looked mm-hmm. terrible there, uh, twice in a row. I don't think the Saints are going to win that game, and I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be close. I think right, they'll so get we'll, taken out of their game. 